Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Year of the Day. My name is Ace Kantia. This episode of Year of the Day is brought to you by Edinra. Edinra. If you don't want room way, you know, go pay two years just monthly. Just log into www.edinra.com. You get room chamber and hall, any kind of room you want. You pay monthly and then you are good to go. No two years, five years, or ten years advance. Yes. Um, this story, eh, it'd be very, very funny. And I'm very, very happy. Some people wouldn't be happy because of where I would take them from. Some too would be very happy. Yaba, old, Yaba Left Online posted this article yesterday. And the article, the headline is, Nigerian lady cancels wedding to boyfriend of eight years after he lost money meant for their wedding on sports betting. The lady is dating his boyfriend for eight years. They have been dating for eight good years. The time they go marry, the guy take the wedding money, go cut virtual betting. Towards wedding money, and then he lost, and the lady quits the marriage. So Nigeria lady cancels wedding to boyfriend of eight years after he lost money meant for their wedding on virtual betting. According to the lady, she knew about his gambling habits but thought he would change. However, she learned the hard way when he didn't spare funds meant for their wedding and suddenly lost it to sports betting. It is this, be, this be what happened. She left the boyfriend because we could tell her that he didn't. Me, I they take them from this angle. If they take your marriage money, go cut bet. It doesn't make sense to me. I know people will say, say, what if he had won the bet? What if he had won the day? He in cast him. Because if he had won that bet, there's a possibility that when they get married, the kids' school fees will be back with a bet. If you win today, maybe tomorrow, you know go win. Bet be gambling. You might win today, tomorrow, you wouldn't win. So to me, dear, it'd be very, very stupid to use your wedding money. A lady, no, you prioritize bets over love. A lady you have been dating for eight good years. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight years. Akufuado wants to break the eight. It means from 2016, they start the date till now. You get money. You saved money for eight years to go and marry, only to waste it on virtual betting. And then you lost portal. And now the lady has left the guy. But my problem is, according to the lady, she knew that the guy be gambler. But as you the date somebody be gambler, what do you expect? This be the guy where the money you will get after even the marriage say, someone who bets, you can't change someone who likes sports betting. Someone who they like bets. You can't change. See, you know people then they won't stop. People are very addicted to betting to the extent that. If the season end, team be a new or move to me pay team no much. This be the people where you the date. Wedding money, wedding. Like one of the most something where as a guy, even when you are growing, you achieve that you are very happy is getting married. And the lady you love, you the date for eight good years. You save money. Only say walk walk or shed sporty bet. I should shed two words. I don't know whether it be, it says virtual betting. I don't know if it be aviator, aviator day. Unless you can't see fish them. So, no, no, daily in aviator. Whether it be aviator, whether it be uh, odds, whether it be jackpot, I don't know what exactly this guy go do plus the money. And you go stake bets with your wedding money and you lost. It's a very good take for me that the lady has quit the marriage, but she should have done this thing way earlier. Earlier before this time save. Because if you, assuming, say, people are saying, if this guy won this bet, the lady would continue to marry the guy. The lady only left the guy not because he did bet. The lady left the guy because he lost. Because according to the lady, you know, say this guy, he did bet. He bets for, for a living. That being job. If you only gone Africa, you come someone, you ask someone what be your job. I be punta. I they give odds for a living. I bet for a living. I work bet for a living. And then you date someone who is already gambling. You know about this. You didn't say anything. You continue to marry the person. And then they asked the lady. When they asked the lady, this is what she said. Gambling, it was on a podcast. She said, gambling and betting actually ended my relationship of eight years when we were about getting married. I'm a lady. I was thinking he would change. He placed the betting they call virtual baby. I don't know, virtual baby to be what? 
virtual baby. <laughs> they see the bet like he been woman, so that's why baby they they. The money meant for the wedding preparation, he wasted it in the game. I had to cancel the wedding, she narrated. So from the lady's point of view, she canceled the wedding because the guy lost the bet. She's okay dating someone who bets, hoping said the person will change. Hey, you, you can't change. There are people in this world that you can't change. Three people in this world you can't change. A woman who is in love, a man who supports MPP, and someone with the bet. There's three people, you know. <laughs> A woman who is in love, a man who supports MPP, and a guy who is with sports betting. These three people, you can't change them. That unless they take some better, you obey to me in the fear, the fear to bet. But they understand for the love of the game, they love the game, passion they behind. Cause the wedding money, no, it wouldn't be a small money. Go be big money, like fifty thousand say. So, it, but how you take fifty thousand go put odds in back? But you don't boo boo bet when you have sporty bet call and they give them banner. That banner, I mean, you send your friends a handout with a pamphlet. I don't know. <laughs> 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 I decided to go that thing. They have, if you win bets, big money, they, they call you come, then go do promo for you, then give you that. How did they call that thing? It's a pamphlet with a handout with a they ban. They, they present to you. No, I call. Dummy what? Dummy check, dummy check, Fijai, I tell me, Fijai, Fijai show me, they be dummy check, I don't know if it is right, but dummy check, they give you dummy check, then you go to the bank to go and cash it out, so this guy take the money, go here, go stake the bank, the guy be very, very useless to me, if you be my brother, you do this thing, you be very, very useless, and do you know the funny, once I watch that bet, now you didn't, he won't stop, imagine say you take your house, go stake bet. The only way to get your house back is go back to sports betting because you can't build that house again. If you use eight years to save money to marry, now what could Chani do? The only way to get that money back is go back and bet again and get that money. Yesterday, people will go buying Munichin back, know what are they talk. Those who stake for buying, I'm a victim. I know what happened. Me, I have changed. But I will use my marriage, marriage, my girlfriend, sweet, beautiful baby. You go see the family, see everything. Oh, she cannot only buy a couple of apartments near the other. My baby did in a year. Oh, yeah, or don't see that day. The fifty thousand women can see a four baby did free. Oh, my mommy said, Yeah, mean that. So, my mommy said, Grant retains and bear me. I'm a prophet and all coin as forty bits. Yeah, what I want for bar. So, when you put the money in a shop, virtual bets, I've yet a day within ten seconds, then the money go. If it be odds, 90 minutes, you have 90 minutes to cash out. You have 90 minutes to walk to the body to go and enter the sea, as the bet know the play. But Aviator there, within a twinkle of an eye, if it is sit here, 10 seconds now the money go. And how much, I know me, I have not married, those of you who have married, what be your budget? This guy did Nigeria. 500, Nigeria did almost 5 billion credit Ghana one city. Into almost 500,000 billion naira. The lady they date for eight years. I blame the lady. You, the ladies out there dating guys, where they into sports betting, where the hopes they don't change. Hey, they can't change that. If you are dating someone with sports betting, on die that. Let's go to the comments here. Let's see what some people are saying. Maybe some guys are happy. Me, I don't know. Some don't make happy. Let's see what people are saying in the comment section. This guy says, I don't know about you guys, but this is a valid reason. Or maybe the boyfriend never wanted to marry her. So he lied about losing all the money, all the wedding money. He didn't lose house rent or feeding money. The only wedding money he lost. It be true. Maybe he know they won't marry. So he lies a bet to chop the money. Because, you know, why you know be rent money? Why you know be feeding money? Why you know be chop? Why is he not chop money? Mm, See, so there are some ladies if you date them for longer you want to leave you can't leave so you have to find an excuse so the, I'm sure the guy showed him so he had 50,000 billion in it but me they chop it mm, this guy they make sense then this come the, um, the comments are from Nigerians uh, pardon me I can't pronounce their name this is from Akanayu or Kanayu I don't know if he's been kid here this is a huge valid reason to leave him alone I'm not against gamblers, but everything should be moderated and things need to be put in place. There is a possibility 
that he will not use money men to buy food stuffs at home to stick virtual and pa. If this guy is going to work and you ask him, so Mira, the next time you see this guy at my bed for the Adenta Barrier Day, or the chop money in nature bed. But I'm sure this guy he learned this thing from kid time. They be young, we start to do this thing. Because if you can take your wedding money to stake bed, it means he, he take bigger risk more than this. He use school fees to take away chop. Parents send him money with chop. Car. We say now, Udiomu two are buying more. You put them in high places. Or did one district, one constituency seek an out? Me, the God has seek an out. Then I got some God are left uncompleted. Or me, this can I try to. Then this one is coming from local chief. He says she should marry him. He's a risk taker. It'd be true. To use your wedding man to take risk, Charlie. It didn't make sense. Well, this be the kind of people we business risk it all or go home, according to Bill Gates' philosophy. Risk it all or go home. This be some of the guys. And then this is coming from Omotayo of Lagos. A, va- a very valid reason if you're asking. Someone like this will use the children's school fees to gamble. An ir- irresponsible man. So even if the bet he chop, when you guys marry. Make sure you don't give birth. Because if you give birth, maternity 37 is can't on bed, you know. Your boon is oh, the baby will be 1,000 Ghana. The guy did sporty bet. He did now. Obe will not have some 37 and so what be fee. This is coming from Alanta. It be Nigerian name. Alante or I don't know. Better for you to run for your life. No reasonable woman will want to settle down with a gambler. Your family won't stand. This is coming from Teshi. Teshi, Teshi or Techiwa, no. Great decision by what? Great decision. But why did it take eight years to find out the man was this irresponsible? That'd be true. Only you'll be at now eight years. By now, wait. As sure as say, the guy has been staking. Oh, try, oh, di. So the lady make happy. But now he don't chop. She they left. This is coming from Elisa. Possibly he got the initial money from gambling too. Madam, marry him. If he had won... Same you would go and be giving testimony in church. This be very, very true. From what this this one there, Yampa. By now the guy got the money from Betting. Is he where is he? Baby, I'm a Japadi one no minia. Oh na makuma so Messi she may Japadi ni na where the guy get you know go fit tell me say the guy no get some he didn't get some of the money from Betwe. He got some of the money there, therefore he needs to pay homage to the gods. So a boy no see me am a boy no me dey about tight. Take your ten percent, ten percent go ten hundred percent. This is coming from the hair plug. Very valid reason. If he can use their wedding money to bet, he can sell their properties to also bet. And then it goes on. This is coming from Precious. My only issue here is she knew the man was going to spend the rest. She knew the man she was going to spend the rest of her life with was a gambler. And for eight solid years, not, she did nothing. This is coming from drama of Buju. All of you shouting she never loved him. What if it turned out well? Put yourself in his shoes. How foolish can someone be to use your wedding money to gamble and you still want to enter the marriage? Don't you love your sanity? Marry a strange gambler. It'd be true. See, this one, if you are, into, you are dating someone who is into betting, if your boyfriend did it, I don't want to use other, the other things. Make her just stick to betting. If you are dating someone who does this, you should know that in the future, no, or no, or to me, you will date the crack with tablet. Your retains anything you get. These are people that you go to work. By the time you come back, surveyors day your house, they the tablet, so the house no longer belongs to you. Someone has been posting in our YouTube comments say he's a tenant. He introduced sports betting to his landlord. Now he did the landlord law ten tenants. <laughs> <laughs> He introduced sports betting to his landlord. As he did tie for the YouTube comments, he then the landlord all be tenants. Because landlord no achena monusu discana kwa kuchabet. Ladies and gentlemen, if you were dating a guy for eight years and he goes take bet and he lost, what would be your would you leave him? I'm sure the guy they win. If nobody would date someone who is a loser from the start, so would you leave the guy or maybe you hold on to the marriage if Nanado government breaks the eight? To extend it to 12 years, you guys will go again to stake and get money. Or what do you think? Just tell me. But for me personally, this is a very foolish thing to use your wedding money if you be feeding money, school fees, university, hostel fees. Cry, they make sense. A girl you want to spend the rest of your life with till Allah or God comes, 
and you take the money goes take bet tell us what you think in the comment section see you another time we are out <laughs>